Well, today we're here to, to just have some fun and to, and to build interest in the trolley line and trail. And the way we're doing that is we're showing a DVD of the trolley actually rolling right through Hyattsville, Riverdale, and College Park. You can see the restaurant we're, we're going to be showing the film in today. You can see the town center. And it's just a nice nostalgic look into the past. First of all, I'd like to uh, welcome all visitors to uh, Riverdale Park. Um, I'm Mayor Archer, and it's just very exciting to have so many people come out today to uh, view a piece of our, our history and dream with us a little bit and plan a little bit with us about how we're going to move forward and provide better connectivity and a friendlier place to live as far as being able to walk and ride bikes um, and, and get about in our community. The idea here is to build some interest in turning this trolley line into a hiker-biker trail. It's going to start in Hyattsville and go way up into College Park. It's going to join our communities like they've never been joined before. We don't have a way to walk to Hyattsville. They don't have a way to walk here, except along Route 1, which you've walked it, you know what it's like. This will be a pleasant and great way to do it. One of the exciting things is this is going to be a, a transportation hub. Let's people from Hyattsville and Riverdale get up to the, to the metro station and the march stations. It's going to connect our communities as they've never been connected before. We don't have a pleasant way to walk between Hyattsville and Riverdale and College Park, and this will give us that. And I'm hoping it's going to expand our sense of community and bring us closer together. It's a, it's a great trail, it's flat, it's level, it's historic, we'll be celebrating the trolley aspect of it, some of the other historic sites in the area. This just works on a lot of levels. Economically, it'll join our towns and let us all share in each other's restaurants better and shops. So it's just a, an all around win. After we'll see, see the film, we'll take a short walk down the Madison Street and up to the trolley turnaround, just a, a half mile tops on either direction. And just to see where the trail will go one day. I think most of you heard this already, but I want you to notice the telephone poles. The tracks ran on either side of these telephone poles, so it's pretty easy to tell exactly where it was. If you saw the video or see it in a minute, that building is very easy to see. The track, the trolley pulled right up next to it. I'm told that you could easily get hit stepping out of that building. <laughs> so we hope to see this be a nice paved trail well lit. Well, let's walk on down to Madison. You can see down into where it'll be in Hyattsville. Anyone who wants probably already has, but you, if you step out into the track area, you can see how close we are to downtown Hyattsville. You can see the bridge. It's another three or four blocks. There's a train coming from the station. There's a train. Don't, don't get caught on the tracks. <laughs> Once it's done, it's going to, I think, first of all, connect the Northwest Branch Trail to Hyattsville Riverdale Park, but I think it will also help out the Riverdale Park downtown and connect our two communities a lot more closely and offer another um, amenity, you know, outdoor amenity for our residents, another way to get around, another way to get outside, safe way to get off the street and exercise. Well, it's a really interesting project. I mean, we've had, obviously, the trolley's been gone for, you know, many, many decades, uh, but in a lot of places around the country, they're replacing them with, um, with bike trails and, and pedestrian trails. And we've got three centers here in Hyattsville, Riverdale Park, College Park, um, that could be connected. And as you can see, you know, today there were a lot of citizens that came out and were really interested in making this happen. Um, we want to create transportation alternatives um, so that people don't have to rely on their cars to get places. Um, that's something that's always been important to me. Um, for recreation, of course, it's important. Um, and you know, we have, I mean, we have a flat surface that goes right through, and, and it seems like uh, it makes a lot of sense to try to make this happen. 